Welcome to class students. Yes, I know the question looks as scary, but it's actually simple. Okay? So let's solve it. To begin with, let y be equals to x raised to power 2024. Okay? Now, let me express and find the value of x. If I want to find the value of x, okay, uh, that is if I have this, is to raise this to the power of the inverse, which is 2024. And the same thing, I'm going to raise this to the power of inverse 2024. So you can see that this cancels this out. So we can now conclude that x will be now equals to y raised to power 1 over 2024. Now, if I've done this, then I can now go back and substitute into the question. Remember, x now is y raised to power 1 over 2024. Then, of course, raised to power x raised to power 2024 is this, which is raised to power y. Everything is equal to 2024. I want to believe you've understood what I've done. So we are moving now. Let's continue and see where we will go. Now, if you have very good knowledge of your indices, you will note that if I have x raised to power n, okay, raised to power m, it can be written as x raised to power m raised to power n. Why? Because they are all x raised to power n times m. So because of this, I will now write the expression on my left hand side as y raised to power 1 over 2024 or instead, let me not put it this way to avoid repetition. Let me not put it this way. Now what I'll do is I'll push my y inside then raised to power 1 over 2024 is equals to 2024. I've not done anything. Everything is okay. I'm working within the laws. Now, since I have this, what can I do? I'm actually looking for y in this case. Okay. Why not let me raise all of them to power of 2024? Let me do that. Now, if I do that, I'm going to have y raised to power y raised to power 1 over 2024 all raised to power 2024 then is equals to 2024 all raised to power 2024. Now, Check it out. Do you know that this multiplies this? It cancels out. So what I have now is y raised to power y is equals to 2024 raised to power 2024. Hmm. Now by inspection, we can conclude that y is 2024 but remember we're not looking for y we're actually looking for x remember and we know that x is equals to y raised to power 1 over 2024 okay therefore to find my x my x will be equals to anyway i see why i replace it okay so it's going to be 20 24, then all raised to power 1 over 20, 24. Solved. This is my answer. Okay, I want to believe you enjoyed this video. So please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to continue following me for very wonderful 
interesting math tricks and mathematics videos. So thank you so much for being here.